In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a wedding website on Canva, which looks like this. It has the details of the wedding and people can RSVP if they're coming to the wedding. So let me show you how you can create this completely for free. So first you want to head over to canva.com. If you don't already have a free account, you can go ahead and create one. You can see here I'm on the free version of Canva. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in website and you can then go ahead and search from all of these different templates. Now, if you want a specific website, you could just search wedding website and all of the templates here that you can use are going to come up. So go ahead and click see all on the templates and that should then show you the wedding websites. Now, if you're on the free version of Canva, you need to go to all filters, then scroll down and choose the free option. And that will show you all of the templates that you can customize. Right now, recording this, there are 897 templates. So go ahead and choose a template. You can change this later, but I would recommend you spend some time browsing these templates and choose one which works for you. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one so we can click on it. We can then take a look at the website. We can also customize this template. So once you've clicked customize, it will take you into your website. Now, each one of these rectangles is going to be a page. And what you can do is you can edit all of this information here. So starting off with the images. Now, if you don't want this image, obviously you want one of you and your partner, you can go ahead and go to uploads. You can then upload an image or video, and this is going to take you to your file explorer where you can find an image. Now, I don't have an image of a couple and I'm not getting married, so I'm just going to upload this random image. We'll just pretend that it's an image of you and your partner. You can also go ahead and edit the text. So maybe I want to put here Bradley and Alicia. We can then go ahead and edit all of this text. Now, I don't like how this is really small because these details are really important where it's located and the time. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And if you highlight all of the text that you want to edit, you can make it bigger or smaller or change the font or do anything really with the text effects here on this bar. So I'm going to increase the font size here. And I'm also going to drag this out and make this bigger. I'm also going to highlight all of this and we're going to make it bold as well. So there we go. So now moving on to the next page. Now, perhaps you don't want this page. Obviously, you can go ahead and enter in your own text if you wanted to. If you wanted to just remove this page completely or any page, just go to it and then go to delete page. So now we've got our first page. We've got a second page where we can go ahead and obviously drag in images. So I'll just drag in this image. And obviously, this will be an image of you and your partner, right? I'm just using placeholder images. And you've got more images here. Now you can delete these if you wanted to. You've got your checklist. Maybe you want to also add the dress code here and maybe a personal message from you and maybe a personal message from you to the guests, right? You can customize this website however you want with all of these elements. So if you go to elements and type in wedding, you'll see all of these different elements that you can add these photos, videos, graphics. If you go to text, you can add different text here and different styles as well as standard text boxes. You also then got RSPV instructions. Now, if you're using a special system to RSPV, maybe you're using like a special invite system, you can go ahead and link that here. So if you go ahead and go to the RSPV button or text, you can link to an external page from this. I'm not quite sure what system you will be using, but if you're having a wedding, you need to figure out your RSPV system, which basically tells you what guests are going so you can plan your wedding. Nonetheless, once you've customized your website, you can go to share in the top right hand corner or just go ahead and publish your website. Now, with the website URL, you're probably going to be on the default Canva website. So the default Canva URL is going to be my Canva site. And then you can put a subpath here as wedding invitation. If you don't want this clunky Canva URL, you can upgrade to Canva Pro and add your own domains like this. Now, I've made videos showing you how to add your own domain. If you go ahead and search how to add domain to Canva on YouTube, my videos will pop up. Nonetheless, once you've customized all of this, you can then publish your website. And once it's live, everyone will be able to preview it. They'll be able to go to it and interact with it. And if you've designed it from your template and you've not veered too much away from what the template should look like, it will look pretty good. Like Obviously, you would need to match the theme here, but you can go ahead and check it out. This will be your fully functional live website. And if you've linked the R RSPV button or text to an RSPV system, people are going to be able to tell you they're going and that's basically all you need to do. So I hope that was quick and easy. Go ahead and make your website and let me know how you get on in the comment section below.